name is Dov Ben Yaakov Kurtzman. I'm here today because uh, I want to talk about my business, which is a coaching therapy business. I, I went to psychologist myself, I had therapy, I understood what it was, and then I went out to learn um, all about psychology, the human behavior, the human mind. So I didn't go to university until my 30s, and then I uh, decided that I wanted to help people. Um, similar situations to myself, so I went off and studied uh, clinical so uh, social work, and I eventually did a postgraduate diploma in Cardiff University Medical School in Psychiatry, which was unusual because usually you have to be a doctor to be on that programme. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not a psychiatrist, but I learned about uh, neuroscience there. To improve the quality of our lives, it's about changing our behaviour. Um, a lot of people think it's all about psychology and, you know, mindy stuff, and actually it's about getting out of our mind and improving our behaviour, even though our mind sometimes is telling us to do something else. So if we can overcome that and improve our behaviour, the quality of life goes up. Anyone, basically, who wants to get on and do things in their life that they've got a vision of doing and a passion for doing, but sometimes there's just something holding them back. And we usually find what's holding them back are their, are their own thoughts and feelings and memories and urges and physical sensations in their body. And that is very uncomfortable. And so if we can learn to manage that, at the same time proceed with the things that we want to do in our lives, then we find that the quality of life goes up. And everything I'm saying is based in solid research and study. And so it's, it's actually you know, repeated again and again and again that this is the, the way to, to raise the quality of our life. It doesn't always take all these bad thoughts and memories and, and tensions and anxiety and everything away. It's not about taking these symptoms away, it's about improving our behaviour and the quality of our life. There's actually three tiers to my um, professional life, if you like. One part of it is um, non-profit, so it's a charity. And in my business, my profit-making business, I have individual one-to-one -one work and corporate group work. So um, my charitable business, if you like, because this is the way you have to run charities now, even though it's non-profit, you have to look at them as a business. And um, basically what we are doing is setting up a fourth emergency service in the United Kingdom. And that emergency service is to take care of the acutely psychologically injured. So as an example of this in the Manchester Arena bombing uh, almost three years ago, I managed to get over a hundred volunteers. We trained them up in special protocols that I've learned, but to intervene immediately um, in an emergency situation like that to help psychologically. People that are in psychological shock. A week later we went down to London Bridge and there was a terrorist attack there a week later. and. Um, so we, we were on the bridge for a week. I took a team down, we trained the local team and we worked on the bridge. Unfortunately, a week later than that, more or less, there was the Grenfell for our tower uh, fire. And so we sent in our newly trained group um, to, to deal with that. That's the, that's the charitable side of my uh, work. The professional side of my work, which is based in Manchester and now going to be in Harley Street in London, is anybody. Uh, individuals who are dealing with their lives and finding it difficult in some way, then I'm there to be able to help them get to wherever they want to go. I don't see anybody as broken. I don't look at the pathology, I look at what they're experiencing. Um, and the corporate work is going into companies and um, I train for instance in the NHS groups in the NHS and other corporate uh, companies. Um, so groups from two up to, you know, 50, this is enough, you know, this I can do. And we can take that whole company to, to where they want to go. I brought a book out this year uh, called Mind Over Terror, Three Weeks, Two Cities, One Mission, based on those three events that happened in 2017 in the spring. Um, and basically the, uh, the Manchester massacre, as I call it, at the, at the arena, London Bridge and Borough Market terrorist attack in Grenfell Tower. And it's basically a story of people helping people. That's the main part of that story. And it's all the back story and how that came about. 
Um, and I was just asked after that many times to give talks about that and, to, and I was invited to London and Liverpool and Leeds and, and Glasgow and all sorts of places, even abroad. And I thought, okay, I want to actually improve my uh, public speaking. And so that is how I got into that public speaking arena, which wasn't originally planned. What I have now is a actual program for the general public so they can come to my uh, talks and actually leave with, with new skills. It's not just about talking anymore. It's about leaving with actual skills and how to deal with ourselves in the daily lives that we live because there's no such thing as living without stress and unfortunately there's all sorts of traumas that we go through whether it's divorce or whether it's somebody dying unfortunately that's close to us or whether it's a car accident or, or many 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 other things to do with being parents and so on that um, and we're not really taught that by anybody nobody's really taking care of that you know everything physical these days you can get tons of help with but when it comes to dealing with our being human and just going through life, no one's really tackling that um, on, a, on a daily basis, unless you've gone really uh, quite ill with it and you have to go and get medical help. Um, so I'm inviting people to come to my, uh, my talks and actually learn skills on the spot that they can leave with on the same day. There's a lot of motivational stuff out there. Lots of people telling others how to live their lives and how they should be doing this and should be doing that. And if you do this in three minutes, everything changes and so on. And there's no doubt about it, if you're in a room like that, you will be full of adrenaline and full of, uh, you know, okay, I'm definitely gonna go be doing this with my life. But you walk out of there and after, you know, maybe it might not be a couple of days, but within a week or so, that's all gone by and you're back to dealing with your thoughts and your feelings and your body sensations and all that memory that happened and my goodness what am I going to do and I'm not really that good enough to do all these things that I felt I was two weeks ago at the motivational speaking. So I don't want to go down that route, I want to just give people um, a real picture of look this is part of life and what I would like to give you is skills that I have been fortunate enough to be taught by leading uh, psychologists in the world. And I also suffer from the same thing because I'm also alive. So yeah, I get up in the morning and I've got this feeling in my stomach that's a bit weird and I'm thinking, oh, maybe if I just stay in bed, it'll go away. And I also get very, very frightened. I've done hundreds and hundreds of academic exams now. And every time without fail before I go in, I will sign on one uh, mark past past mark and not go into it rather than go in because it scares me to death um, and no matter how many I do I have the same feeling um, and it's about learning how to deal with that that's what it's about it's not about taking anything away from us it's about managing what we have I love um, helping people so when I'm on stage obviously there's such a lot of people in the audience and if I feel that I've helped even one of them, that's an amazing feeling of accomplishment for me. Um, so when there's lots of applause and I feel that people have actually um, accepted or understood what I'm trying to, to teach them, and at the end of the day, I feel I'm a teacher. I'm not a healer and I'm not a, really a therapist, even though I'm qualified as one. And I, But I see myself as a teacher rather than any kind of uh, healer and so if I feel that they've understood what I'm trying to teach them and they can take it on in their lives then there's no better feeling than that for me. I, I basically um, take my energy from what's happening in the room so I come on with obviously a message that I want to teach but um, I gauge my audience and I basically, just like if it was one person there, it's about them, it's not about me. I have skills and I have um, techniques and I have experience and I have learning that is, that is mine and I like to pass it on. Um, but there's no point in passing it on in a standard generic way, it's according to who I'm passing it on to. So if it's an audience, I read the audience and I, and I tailor it on the spot if you like. Um, for who they are and what, what, what's happening in the room. Charles Darwin taught us an amazing lesson. And his lesson was this. 
in the history of humankind, those that have come together and collaborated in a innovative and creative way, in the best way that they can, have prevailed. Thank you very much. Thank you.